We are talking about vision, canon, that's usually a misconception. Remember, we said vision, canon has only one meaning in English, and that is to know. But then, when you refer to knowing a language, you are not going to use the two, either vision or canon. There's another verb that must be used, and that verb is Kernen. So, if you are referring to knowing a language, Wissen will not be used. Referring to knowing a language, Kernen will not be used. The one you use is Kernen. So, and I want us to go to the conjugation of that verb, Kernen. Here is the conjugation, Ich kann, Du kannst, Er kann, Z can, S can, wir können, ihr könnt, sie können, sie können. Okay, we said wissen means to know, kennen means to know. But then, if you want to want you want to say, I know how to speak German. You will not use any of the two. And that's why, look at the sentences here. Ich weiß Deutsch. There is nothing like that. Ich kenne Deutsch. There is nothing like that in German. Ich kann Deutsch. That is the right sentence. So that's why this verb is very important when we are talking about these two verbs, wissen and kennen. So, Konen is very, very important because that is the only verb you are allowed to use when you want to say, I know how to speak German, I know how to speak French, I know how to speak Spanish. So, it's only Konen. So, we see, Ich kann, just as you can see here, Ich kann Deutsch. Of course, it is correct to say, Ich kann Deutsch Sprechen. Ich kann Deutsch sprechen. It's perfectly correct, but it's not necessary. It is known, it's correct. You just say, Ich kann Deutsch. And you leave out this one, Ich kann Deutsch. That means, I can speak French. Or, I understand and I can speak French. Ich kann Deutsch. So that takes us to the dialogue below. A, Mr. A, says, Kannst du viele Sprache? Here's another language, Sprache. I mean, another word, Sprache. It means languages. Remember the plural? Because Sprache ends with E in the singular, and then the plural will be with N. Yeah? Kannst du viele Sprache? Viele. Many. Kannst du viele Sprachen? And then B says, Ja. Ich kann Yoruba. That's the language in West Africa, Nigeria. Ich kann Yoruba. Ich kann Französisch und Deutsch. Okay? Yes, I can speak. I can understand Yoruba, French, and German. So you're going to say it after me. Yeah, ich kann Yoruba, Französisch und Deutsch. Okay? So, remember the use of that can. Here we see it here. The conjugation of the verb können. Okay. And then we have some other languages there. If your own is not there, just add it. Uh, so, tell us that you are able to speak your language. Okay. Uh, for you, I just, there are some other languages there that I want you to use just to practice this uh, can. For instance, ja, ich kann Englisch. I can speak, I can understand English. Ich kann Englisch. Say it after me. And then the next one. Yeah, ich kann Arabisch. I understand and I can speak Arabic. Say it after me. Yeah, ich kann Arabisch. The next one. Yeah, ich kann Spanish. I understand and I can speak Spanish. Ja, ich kann Griechisch. 
Ja, ich kann Griechisch. Yes, I understand. I can speak Greek. Ja, ich kann Griechisch. And then, ja, ich kann Chinesisch. Yes, I can speak. I understand Chinese. Ja, ich kann Chinesisch. Then the next one, ja, ich kann Igbo. Yes, I understand and I can speak Igbo. And then, ja, ich kann Igbo. And then the last one, ja, ich kann Hausa. Ja, ich kann Hausa. Yes, I understand and I can speak Hausa language. So I put a space here for you. Any language that we have not mentioned here, check it in your dictionary and then you just write those languages that you can speak or imaginary, just imagine that you can speak them and just write them there and then you'll be able to say, Ja, ich kann, and then you mention the language. Huh? Try to mention minimum of five that you can speak. Ja, ich kann English. Ja, ich kann Französisch. Ja, ich kann Yoruba. Ja, ich kann Hausa. Ja, ich kann Griechisch. Ja, ich kann... Okay, sehr gut. Okay, sehr gut. Also jetzt machen wir eine kleine Übung. Bis gleich.